why is this so vital that we pursue peace and holiness? Less we fall short of the grace of God. Less we revert back to trying to relate to God by a system of works or trying to relate to God by some legalistic way of handling relationships with people. Then lest a root of bitterness springing up cause trouble. Um, what, what's at the root of the root of bitterness? Would it not be fair to say if we are not focused in on pursuing peace with others and holiness with God, this is where this is where we feed our spiritual souls. This is where we get God's perspective as to how we're to treat others and God's empowerment to how we're to relate to him and how we're to relate to others. And so if I revert from that way of grace, every response rooted in what Christ has done for me and the empowerment he's given me. And so I'm to follow him as he uh, has gone before me, and I'm to walk in his steps. Uh, he who is dependent upon his Father for all things, I must not lean to my own understanding, but in all my ways acknowledge him. If I don't do that, then I'm setting, I'm, put, I'm creating an environment to where I'm going to be an easy target to get bitter. And the root of bitterness causes trouble. Here's a quote from Leon Morris. A bitter root is a root that bears bitter fruit. So it is possible for the seed of bitterness to be sown in a community, and though nothing is immediately apparent in due time, the inevitable fruit appears. There's nothing that is going to breed bitterness like unforgiveness. And so if I am unforgiving toward a person, oh, I'm not bitter, I'm just hurt. He hurt me. Oh, I'm not bitter. We have a hard time confessing bitterness. If I'm going around feeling and confessing to myself or confessing to others, Joe hurt me. He never made it right. Boy, that's a, that's a recipe for a deep root of bitterness to get whole. And the only way out is to forgive even as you've been forgiven. Notice also, lest there be any fornicator or profane person. Would it not be fair to say that all of the spiritual trouble that we have is rooted in not pursuing peace and holiness. That's the fountain from which a lot of good fruit, all good fruit, is going to come. Because it's the fountain of grace whereby we have been made partakers of his divine nature. Uh, we have been given the Holy Spirit. We have in Christ the wealth and the resources by which we can fight spiritual battles. And so if we neglect those, it may not show up today or next week, but in due time, it's going to show up. Uh, I don't remember ever suggesting to myself in all my teenage years and early years of marriage that I was bitter. I don't ever remember in those years ever thinking that, you know, I have some problems here and they are rooted in my bitterness toward my father. It doesn't matter whether it's justified or not, and frankly it wasn't, but. Or that it was rooted in my bitterness toward God. I was angry at God and bitter toward God for a long time because I had this problem that I had to deal with every day for 20 plus years 
and I begged God to let it go. It wasn't something I sought. It was not a habit I had self-created. And it never left until I almost I graduated from college and it just, boom, it's gone. But years later, uh, and having tumultuous early years of marriage and almost divorces, divorcing, uh, a lot, of the, and the major part of the problem was that I had a deep-rooted spirit of bitterness and unforgiveness. And it was a wonderful day when I heard a message in a special meeting in Lebanon, Tennessee, on forgiveness. And the Spirit of God brought it into the depth of my soul, and I repented of my anger and bitterness and lack of forgiveness and gave forgiveness and got forgiveness and not that I never had to struggle with any of this again but now I was a free man the, the, the chains fell off and uh, hallelujah what a savior but again so many things are, are rooted in not taking seriously this call to pursue peace with all men because we've been brought to a place of having peace with God and then living to maintain the peace of God and then pursuing holiness. I mean, this is our calling. 